Welcome back guys, we've got a leg and booty workout today. If you have a pair of resistance bands, feel free to use them too. We've got 17 exercises, 40 seconds on and 5 to 15 seconds off. We'll start with reverse lunge to a curtsy lunge. Start with a reverse lunge by bringing one leg behind you, then bring the same leg across so that it sits diagonally behind you. Then do a curtsy. Return to the center and repeat. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes. Keep your glutes engaged and your core engaged too. You can use a resistance band for about half of the exercises today, but it's not necessary if you don't have one. You're still gonna feel it. And now onto the other leg. Next, we are going to do a wide squat to a narrow squat. Have your feet pointed slightly outwards and when you do a squat, make sure you are engaging your glutes, your chest up and your spine in a neutral position. And of course, your core engaged. Next, we are doing a squat pulse. Make sure you're squatting as low as you can and pulse twice. Get up into a half squat and pulse twice and back up and repeat. Your glutes and legs should be burning. Alright, next we've got some single leg skater squat. If you have a pillow or a roll up towel, you can use it to protect your knee. Try to work on your balance here guys by using your core muscles and your glute and leg muscles and as you come up, give your abs a little crunch. Now on to the other side. Alright, next we've got lateral lunges and foot tap. Sit your hips back as you go down into a lunge. 
and try to keep the other leg as straight as possible, then come up and give your foot a tap. If you got a resistance bands, now's a good time to put them on and do lateral lunges. Now onto the other leg. Keep pushing through guys, you can do it. Alright guys, we've got a 15 seconds rest now. You can take a longer break if you want to, especially if you're using a resistance band or weights. The next exercise is single leg glute bridge. So get ready to be flat on the mat with one foot planted on the mat and the other cross over your knee like so. Remember to squeeze and engage your core and your glutes as you come up. Take your time and keep that mind-muscle connection going. We are about halfway through the workout guys, keep going. And now we are swapping to the other leg. Make sure you squeeze your butt. Alright, now get on all fours and have your right foot cross over and we're going to do some rainbows. Work on those glutes guys, keep them engaged. This is also a really great one to do with bands to really feel that burn. Now on to the other side. Next, we're going to do some fire hydrant kicks. Lift your legs sideways like so and followed by a kick. Make sure you're focusing on your glutes here.
Let's swap over to the other leg. Three more exercises to go, guys. You can do it. Alright, great job guys, stand upright and we've got single leg deadlifts now. Have your palms together like so, plant your working foot on the floor, inhale and with a neutral back, slowly hinge on your hips by pushing your hips back. As you push your hips back, you can have a slight bend on your knee and remember to engage your core as that will really help you to stay balanced too. Do it slow and controlled and you should feel this in your glutes and core. And now let's swap to the other leg. And the last exercise is a 90 degree squat. It is a little bit more of a high impact to end the workout, so feel free to do it slowly without the jump if you want to. Just focus on the glutes and legs as you squat and come back up, and we're just rotating 90 degrees each time back and forth. Come on guys, it's the last exercise, we can do this. And that's the workout guys, I hope you're feeling it in your glutes and your legs. Smash that like button if you're enjoying the program so far and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!